Hello, it's um, Stuart here from Champion Stuart Estate Agents in Plymouth, and welcome to another Thursday's Tenants Insights. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the tenancy application process um, for tenants. So, as a tenant, you've been out on a number of viewings for a number of properties, and um, you've you've identified the property you, that you you like, you love, and you want to rent it. So, what happens next? Um, so, um, obviously contact the uh, the agents or landlords straight away um, we will want to get some more information from you so um, one, of, one of the key pieces of information really is obviously when you'll be looking to start the tenancy obviously if you are up against another uh, you know uh, other applications then obviously the sooner you can move in um, that might then put your application towards the top of the pile um, uh, we'll, we'll ask each tenant adult tenant on the, wants to live in the property to complete an application form. The application form will, will, will take some um, key personal details, you know, name, um, date of birth, email, mobile numbers, etc. Um, we're going to want to know your your last three to five years address history. Um, we're going to want to know your employment status, whether you're employed, self-employed, etc. and how much you earn. Um, and also next to kin as well. Um, second thing we'll need at this stage as well is, is two forms of ID as well. Um, all landlords have to satisfy themselves that all tenants have the right to remain in the UK. Um, if we don't, um, if we're proven not to, proven any tenants not to have that right to remain, then obviously uh, landlords are open to a fine. So um, we need to satisfy that um, at the start that uh, everyone has the right to remain in the UK. So once we've collected all that information up, um, what we'll do then is we'll, we'll, we'll put that information to, to the landlord because ultimately it's the landlord's decision who he wants to have in his property. So um, obviously if there's, if there's a few applications on the property then we'll discuss all the merits, pros and cons of each applicant to, um, to, 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 to the landlord. Sometimes the landlord might want to meet you and obviously if that's the case well, then we'll obviously we'll arrange a quick quick meeting at the property so that I can meet you and obviously have his final say in that. Um, so once your application has been approved and, accept, and accepted, then um, the next phase is to ask for a holding deposit. So um, a holding deposit is one week's rent. Um, so this is a slight change. So basically the tenant fee bill that came in in June 2019 um, made a legal requirement that a holding deposit, a, a maximum of one week's holding deposit um, could be charged, or well, not charged, but should be made from tenants to landlords, letting agents to reserve a property. So if you ask to pay any more than that, um, it's against the law. So just be just be mindful of that. Um, one of the key, also key requirements on that is that um, any reasons why you would not get your holding deposit back should be um, spelled out in writing to the tenant so for instance if you if you offer an application form you put something that's not true obviously you could then lose your holding deposit if you pull out um of um you know the application then you're you, you're going to lose your holding deposit so all things to bear in mind um, but that is spelled out to to you before you pay for that holding deposit um once that's all that once once the holding deposit is received then the property is then taken off the market and it's reserved for up to 14 days while the referencing process um, is taking place. Um, the referencing process um, usually involves a credit check, uh, employment check to confirm your employment details and how much you earn, and then obviously a, a, a current landlord check if applicable to see the, see the conduct of your um, your current tenancy to make sure it's being conducted to a satisfactory manner. Obviously, once that's all approved, then obviously the property, you know, you, you pass referencing and it's just on the end of the tenancy paperwork stage. But I'll cover that section in a, in a, new, in a new video next week. Um, I hope you found this kind of useful, basically what, what, what we do at the, at the tenancy application stage so you know the process involved. Um, if you do have any questions about it, feel free to drop me a message and I'll be happy to help. Um, thank you for watching and, and watch out for my next video next week. Thank you.